Hello, hello! Today I'm gonna be doing the Manfrotto 494 ball head. Now, if you can see that right there, looking. Well, let's open this and there is no tape. I don't know why I took that out. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. Um, it's called the MH494BHUS uh, Mini Ballhead from Manfrotto. All right, I got the actual receipt. Um, I bought it for $79.88. Um, and I bought this for the Switch Pod, which I'm gonna show in my other review. Let's put that to the side. I have everything Manfrotto. The tripod right now that it's on is Manfrotto. It's nice and bowl wrapped in here. And okay, this is nice. The reason why I got this is because I want it to be a very fast, quick release plate. I really gotta figure out how to use this. This is really interesting. So according to the thing, it's compatible with RC2 and Arca Swiss attachments. All right, so the bottom is a 3 8 female. This is how you lock it in. After you screw it on, you lock it in. Okay, to unscrew and loosen the ball, it's right here. And this one right here. Okay, let's tighten that. I would like it. I like it. it it's... Oh, that's super strong. You cannot break that. To tighten that down there. This is the one I'm trying to figure out. So you can go this way. Um, all the way to the side to make a portrait. Or this way to make a land a landscape. Um, I do a lot of photography, but I never own this one because I do all mine by hand. And if it's on the tripod, it's always just straight um, uh, portrait mode, which I like. And I like um, exactly how perfect and balanced this thing feels. And it's just hard to pull, pull apart. Here's the actual quick release plate. And right here it says um, Manfrotto on the side. Um, the threading is right here. And then t I like this key right here. You could lock it. Pull up the tab, it says lens this way, and you just spin it. It's pretty good. And then the bottom is the barcode and the stuff. And to, um, once you put this back in, it can go either way, which I like, literally either way. You just slip it back in like that, slip it in. And then you pull that tab, this thing right here, and it's good to go. Wow. One thing that I like about this is this lever right here is like the trigger. So you can do that, but nothing will go through, right? You can't even, or you know, like if also, if it's in, you can't even pull this out using this, it's still locked in. So there's double mechanism, which I know it's, it's, it's a good caution because what if like you do this by accident very slightly, it could pop out. So this trigger, this one right here stops it right there. And then this trigger opens, you pull that out. There you go. Put it in. I like this. Let's go see it on a, a slider. Okay, I have the Glide Gear, Glide Gear slider. Literally will not fit. This is a different thread. Oh man. See, one thing about these things is it pops up by like a quarter of an inch, I think. And I like this is because you can literally pan and adjust. So, um, sorry, uh, this is the only camera I have out. So for like right now, you know, for example, I'm doing this, you can pan it back and forth and um, you know, holding that, or you could lock it, um, and just, you know, it's, it's an extension, it's not stable, you can move around, I like this, you can even face down, look at that, it's good, so like for example, you have it on, this is a monopod, right, monopod, this brand is called 
the Ultimix, whatever, it came with the M50. I'll link it down below if you can find it. And all the gear that I'm getting is linked down below if you can find that. So one thing about this is since it's on the monopod, you can literally like move around. And I know um, a lot of people probably know about um, these things, but this is my first time owning one. Um, I brought a weight scale to show or to see how much it weighs with the quick release plate and the whole assembly with it. Let's turn this on. I'm just using a simple Martha Stewart um, weight scale. It is 12.7 ounces. Wow. Let me pick it up again. Check. 12.7 ounces. The quick release plate weighs 1.3 ounces. And then from there, 11.4 ounces. My final thoughts and review, I would put this based on 8 out of 10. Build quality is there. Um, ergonomically is there. The size of this um, quick release is perfect. The only problem is that this button here, I feel like is not necessary. So um, I read in a review on B&H that someone said um, it was for their son who was learning and it's not great. If you're, if you're it's not really great because you gotta go like this number down and switch, you know, of course to this number and then pull it out, you know. Okay, pull it out while wow, I was taking long there. This is gonna be tough, there you go. It still got to loosen a lot. It's gonna be very tough for me as well. <laughs> I'm just so used to the all video, I do only videos. Um, and photography, I always do, like I said, portraits. So I'm sticking to my own, eight out of 10. And I wish, um, hopefully there's more better new quick release plates because this one, this trigger right here is what loses everything. This is going to make me go crazy. <laughs> well, thank you for watching and um, I'm going to put this a lot to use and you're probably going to see all my videos. Check out my other channel for vlogging. This is going to be used most of the time. 100% I'm going to be using this all the time. Um, for getting off the camera, I'm probably going to be leaving it on now and then um, due to the reasons of how painful it is to take off. But the times we're going to take like, the batteries and stuff, it's easy to access because once you take it off, um, the battery covers right here and it's a very small plating. So once you open the, the battery slot, you know, it could easily come there or, you know, it could um, possibly come this way. The other one, um, quick release that I used was, let me get it. The other one I used was from this um, selfie stick. It goes for the, uh, so you see the difference is this uh, plating right here is much more smaller than this one if you look at it. But this one is built like crazy. This is just cheap plastic. It has um, the leveler. And I noticed that this one doesn't have a leveler. Like, you know, I know like most of you, you're freeing it, but you're gonna want that to level. I guess you could use the in camera, but it's nice like that to have that level around here. That's interesting. Well, thank you for watching. Um, please watch uh, the video right after this. I'm doing the switch pod review for this one. Thank you, subscribe, bye.